Welcome to Investment Talk Only with Johnny Ruiz. It's time to get to the money. It's Investment Talk Only. If you say you got the money, gotta show me. A lot of people talk, but that be phony. I just remember what Jerry Mack told me. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to Investment Talk Only. This is uh, one of the segments that we wanted to start. Uh, call it the explainers. So it's just little explainer videos that kind of attach to our episodes. Um, you know, we have a topic on a specific episode and we kind of just want to go into a little detail on it, on the explainers to help out with uh, with some examples and stuff. So uh, I'm Johnny Ruiz, got my co-host Monique Benitez. Hello. What's going on? So what's, up? Uh, what's the explainer today? The so the explainer for this is going to be just a little bit about the budget template. Um, I know we've got a lot of feedback about um, the first episode and everyone's like, okay, so how do I start a budget? Um, Do you have a template? And I'm like, yes, we do. Um, I've kind of had this for a long time. I never used it. Um, And I actually used it a couple of weeks ago. And when I used it, I was like, oh my God, like you don't realize how much unnecessary money you spend or where your money's going and so you actually put it down on like paper, you know, and I always felt like, for example, you know, we have a, a brother and sister have their own business and they've been telling me like, you need to do a budget. And I, I remember the last vacation, I felt like, oh, you guys are trying me, like trying to say I'm broke, telling me to do a budget, you know, They're like, Monique, that doesn't mean that we're saying you're broke. And I got offensive. It was kind of like a little, you know, family argument. It's like, they're like, Cause you, they're like, you just don't, you make money but you don't realize where your money's going and it could go so imagine if you budgeted you could make your money go so much longer than it does and i was just like you know i'm hard-headed so i never did it and i did it the other day and i'm like wow this is incredible you know and yeah, a it, lot of times when you make that first budget you're like man i want to i want not to eat this much like that's a whole nother that, bill that was like i was like i spend this much money on food because you have to print yeah. out like your um bank statements well that's the best way to do it so you can get everything you get i'm like I spend this much money on my nails. Like it's just a whole much, a whole bunch of things that I don't realize that I was doing until I put it down on paper. And it just opens your eyes and it kind of helps you figure out where you should make some changes. And I'm really glad so I did it. And I stopped being stubborn and hard headed because now I'm able to actually make some adjustments and use that money in a different and then even subscriptions. I didn't realize how many subscriptions that I was subscribed to that I, you know. So I started yeah. calling and canceling things and stuff like that. So this budget uh, template is really, really uh, beneficial. So I want to go over that, uh, if you can do that. All right. Um, for the Let's segment. get into it. So I'm going to give uh, a few different things. Uh, I'm going to get a, temp- a, temp- a budget template that's pretty simple. Uh, so for people who don't really care for numbers that much or – not comfortable with dealing with you know money so it's something simple that everybody could use got something more advanced for people who do like numbers and really want to get down to like the penny and then um after that we're going to touch on some like online resources that we can uh use to help us budget so let me get to it all right so this is the um the simple method of using excel so um a lot of people might not be that familiar or comfortable with Excel, but if you're getting to the numbers and want to get better at your money, you're going to have to become comfortable with numbers at some point. And this template kind of lets you do that, you know, at the lowest level. You don't have to be an expert at Excel. So definitely just look into learning Excel, you know, just at the lowest level. All right. So uh, I made a few categories here. Um, so this is kind of like your monthly budget. The first area is bills, obviously. The second area is salary. So let's start with salaries, what you, we're bringing in. So let's think of like a household, like wife or husband, boyfriend or girlfriend. We have two people. Um, first one, you want to put in a salary for the month. So we have $2,000. Um, even if you want to do biweekly, you could kind of put that number there, just times it by two. Um, if you get paid on a biweekly schedule. Uh, second person have 1600 and then it totals up here. So up here is uh, what we call a, a function or a formula. So this is summing up everything below. So we have a total of 3,600 for the month, just for this example. 
of total income. Um, and on the left, on the right here, we have how it breaks down as far as 100% of those salaries. All right, so now we know altogether we make 3,600 as far as the household income. Now we go to the left and literally we write down every single bill that we have. So every single one, as you touch on maybe subscriptions, you know, Disney Plus, Netflix, um, or in this example, we have daycare, rent, cell phone, car insurance, everything. Um, I even put here court fees. If you have ongoing court fees, put that there. Hey, if we like to turn up all the time, and you definitely know you want to have some bottles in the house, let's put a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's you. All right. So, uh, if you see that, you see that number change because the monthly bills, the totals are here. So, anything on this side is going to total on this side. All right. So, just simple math, adding and subtracting. Right. And I even have a little bill for grandma. We want to send grandma money each month. We'll put it in there. All right. Going to the right. So everything here is going to be calculated. Everything here is going to be calculated. And then right here we have a simple what's left over. Um, for this example, we're kind of overspending. We're in a negative 2,800. So now we need to figure out what we need to cut out. So let's go back to the right, to the left. We can't have alcohol. Sorry, Grandma, can't uh can't give you fifty dollars a month, but you kind of go that kind of that route. You know, cut your monthly subscriptions if you don't really need Netflix, then I'll do mm -hmm. it. But that's kind of how you adjust, you know, and see what you're you're looking at looking like every month. Mm. Okay. And then if you have some goals, you can put savings goals and. You know how many years it will take you to reach that so you take your your yearly savings and what your goal is and then you divide that number that uh this a monetary goal divided by how much you're going to save each year and that's how many years it's going to take you to reach that so it's just kind of simple math and this is like like i said a simple template that i use i don't do anything above this and it, and it works for me. Uh, did did you happen to use this one? No, I used um a a different one. I think it's a little bit more in depth. Um, okay. I could provide that one um to whoever needs that. Well, I think I actually okay. got that. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. So that's a more goes... applicable one. Yeah. So the point of this one is that anybody could do this. It's just mm -hmm. math. You're writing down and you save it, and on a monthly basis, just make sure you're following this budget. And make sure that whatever this amount is, that you know, you do whatever you want with it, invest it. But definitely have everything that you could think of over here. All right. I have so, a question. Do you have to do this for each month? Like if the months are different? I mean, ideally it wouldn't change, so you can kind of plan ahead, but um I obviously if it's a new month or different expenses, then yeah, just add it in for that month. The point is that each month that goes by, you want to see what's going on okay cool all right so that's a simple one now this one we actually got online from vip financial education is this the one that you were talking about um yes okay this is the one i did yeah so as you see here at the bottom there's a whole bunch of different tabs so this is for the nerds that like to get more in depth and it actually has uh, a little instruction sheet in the first tab so it lets you know how to use each tab and maybe it has a glossary. And so basically, you it gets very, very, very in detail on all your expenses. So lots of credit, credit cards, business expenses. It just has the whole nine yards. Um, income. So this is I great for if you're owning a business um, and you have different streams of income, different investments. You know, very, it gets very much detail of what's going on with life insurance all your debts, lines of credit, credit cards. So if you like the details, something like this will be definitely su suited for you. Yeah, and what I like about that, this one too, like you said, it goes super in depth and in, it even tells you like what can be your, what expenses could be paid with the credit card, what has to be cash. Like it just goes so in depth into everything. Yep. And then it gives you like a summary at the end. 
exactly. So um, how you can find that, you just Google VIP Financial Education Cash Flow Country, and it's right here. So you can click on it and download it for free. The free download cash flow cruncher, and that's exactly what this is the cash flow cruncher. All right, and then one last thing on Excel. So, this is a blank Excel sheet. If I want to open up a new one, um, it says search for online templates here. So, I'm just going to write budget, enter, and a whole bunch of budget templates come up. So, if you don't like mines that we okay. made here, you can just Pick one for yourself that fits your personality mm -hmm. or your level. I even seen one on there, like a wedding template, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Mm. So these are things that people made with, you know, us in mind to make your life easier. And all of these will flow. See, look, they even got court fees in here. All right, so let's put 50 here and it should populate somewhere. Oh yeah, oh, right here. So there you go. Um, and last but not least, I'm gonna go back to Google. So Bank of America and this company called Khan Academy, which uh, they're believes that everybody should have free education. They partnered up and they have a whole bunch of resources when it comes to everything about money. So it's called Better Money Habits. And so I Google better money habits. And if you look here, that's savings and budgeting, click there and it has a whole bunch of resources for budgeting and saving. So this is a great free resource that you can get. And it just has a lot of information on, look, five steps to get started with saving, creating a budget. So I would definitely say utilize this as well. And uh, we'll That's be coming good. back to this website plenty of times because it has a lot of great information. Okay. But yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to show. Thank you. I'm gonna definitely be hitting up some of those sites because I didn't even know about half those things. I knew about the budget cruncher, but not the other stuff. So yeah. I'm learning as I go, as I, I do these with you. So, right so we're trying to get people ready to start investing. Budgeting mm -hmm. is the very first step. So. We're going to walk them across the journey to get there. Okay. All right. So we can be looking forward to some of these explainers um, after the episodes drop and stuff like that. Exactly. So be ready. All righty. Well, thank you, Johnny. Appreciate it. All right. It's been Investment Talk Only. Take care. Peace. Show me the money. Investments are holy.